this is the most anti-democratic piece of legislation being put before this parliament. I repeat it again, it is anti-democratic. It is against the values of this democracy, this parliament, our constitutional sovereignty. It is against the principles of law and ethics. This is a bill which effectively gives one person enormous powers. In this case, it could be the Minister of Health or the Prime Minister, I suspect primarily the latter, that in any constitutional democracy which puts enormous powers into the hands of one person is by definition not democratic at all. These powers, Madam Speaker, will impact on New Zealanders' daily lives in ways I suspect they can barely comprehend. Outlined in section 11, give one person the power to say to ordinary New Zealanders where they can stay, who they can see, how they can physically distance, where they can travel, how they can carry out specialist activities. One person alone will be able to dictate to Kiwis how they'll be isolated and quarantined. They will have the power to dictate to you your place, premise, craft, vehicles, even your animals, how we as Kiwis can operate. These powers are enormous and they are being concentrated in one hand. This bill enables the police to enter a home without a warrant. Madam Speaker, the police have never held that power. This bill enables police just on reasonable cause to enter into your home. That somehow if we don't give over these enormous powers to one person in government, then somehow everything's going to go wrong. Well, to use fear effectively is what's being done is a blackmail of a sort, a bribe. It's emotionalism over reason. When human societies lose their freedom, it's not usually because tyrants have taken it away. It's usually because people willingly surrender their freedom in return for protection against some external threat. That's what I fear we are seeing now. Wake up, New Zealand.